Alright, oh my god, it focused. Welcome everyone. Well, my mom just got her new bed. And so, I decided to make a nightlight for her. But the problem is, is that she doesn't like these uh, new white lights, white LED lights that have kind of the bluish color. You can see the ultraviolet coming through it. And, you know, my Asperger's brain doesn't like that too much either. But, on my bed, I have another touch light that I've already made. And its color is a warm, bright, a warm, warm white color. So I'm going to give my old one to mom and I made myself a new one with a 3 watt LED that's running at 660 milliamps. So it's pretty effing bright. I like it. Uh, it'll be nice. I can read by it and I don't mind the blue color as much as mom would. So love your mama. Love you people, thanks for watching. Oh, here, let me show you this. That's the touch sensor. There we go. It's uh, hooked up to a trend, uh, a MOSFET over here. It's inside this thing and there's the three watt LED and some resistors. That's uh, 2.5 ohms worth of resistance and one watt. And it's not very hot. Yeah. Whatever. Anyways, yeah, my uh, touch sensor nightlight. This is also one of my ideas that I think I might try to sell sometime in the future. It's not a big idea. Not like it hasn't been done before, but whatever. I'll try it. See you later, people. Thank you. No, oh, uh, here. Yeah, there's the. That's what the LED looks like. We're zoomed in all the way, and it focused. Yay! There's a little three watt LED, and it's on its uh, aluminum back as a heat uh, a heat sink and there's our uh, transistor that's that's not focusing on the transistor there's our MOSFET that's uh, turning the whole thing on okay see you later people thanks bye